Now we're going to look at the combination of thanksgiving and intercession, uh, again, uh, largely in terms of ruling and government. And uh, so I want you to look at this portion of scripture. I exhort, therefore, Paul speaking, of course, first of all, at supplications, prayers, intercessions, and what? And this is a part here in America that we often leave out. Giving of thanks be made for all men. And I'll come back to that in a second. For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may do what? Lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. And so um, I just want to call your attention to that we are commanded to do these things, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and which we do, but uh, I don't know about your nation, but in America, we, we currently have an administration that has really taken us in a very ungodly direction. It's very lamentable. Um, but one of the hardest things for us to do, and this is the challenge that I'm giving all of you, our viewers today, the, the president you don't like, the king you don't like, the prime minister you don't like, whatever the case may be, the more you don't like him, the more I give you this challenge to begin to give thanks to God uh, in spite of the bad decisions that they're making. Uh, as an act of faith, give God thanks. Uh, because in Daniel 2, it tells us that God sets up rulers and he takes down rulers even though we vote and we should vote and we should vote for biblical values, all those things are true uh, for those of you who can vote in your nation. And sadly, many people can, but don't. 